the pair number one, I believe, is the number seven rider, Alex Wallace, in the lead. Absolutely correct. Tony Christie is tucked in right behind him there. And yet still with all these setting up blistering pace at the rest of the back. Jody Christie has closed right out on the back wheel of uh, Welsh. Welsh starting to gather a little bit, but as they pick up speed on the back straight, Jody Christie is getting right into the draft. They're side by side, and Christie takes over the lead, turning into turn number 11. He's going to hang on to that because nobody is faster than Christie through turn 11. But again, side by side, and Welsh fights back into the S's. Side by side again, coming towards the St. Allen's. The battle is heating up, Frank. It's going to be a classic for sure. It's not going to be a classic for sure. In his position, but boy, was that a scare. Put the back straight away once more. Of Alex Welsh. Now remember, this is where the pass happened last time around. Up to the rider's choice tower. Oh my goodness gracious, he's got a bike length for sure. Welsh eats it right back up again on brakes and they bank over to their right hander. Christie gets the big drive coming down with the switchbacks. He goes into the right, he switches over to the left and then stands it up coming into Allen's. Oh man, does he ever make that front wheel group pushy? Let me. Well, looking as they come through Allen's. Alex Welsh is not going to take this line down. Christie's going to have to get off her brain coming into the switch. All eyes are on the race leaders now. Rose on the number seven by Christie to the inside. He makes the pass for Fuzzy. On the side by side and saying he's carrying down. And on the inside he goes. Yeah, I'll see. Very hard to tell in that one. They were wow. so close. It's the fast flap, but the square was 50. 